Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and as for today's video we have a remake of a video that I made over two years ago. Yeah. And that video was the Adrenaline vs Pro Drivers on the AMD side. And I'm kind of remaking this video because there are still people watching that previous video that I made over two years ago. And if people are still watching, it means that people still want that information. They still want to know if the Pro Drivers compare well versus the Adrenaline ones, if they should pick the Pro Drivers for more stability, or if they should pick, once again, the Adrenaline ones. And so now you ask, what is the difference? And as usual, I'm gonna tell you right away, but after today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. So adrenaline drivers versus the pro drivers. The thing is that adrenaline drivers are generally aimed at the consumer market, basically um, people that do not work with their GPUs, mostly gamers and so on. They are aimed at gaming mostly, and I repeat mostly, not only, but mostly, while the pro drivers are more fine-tuned, more tested, more stressed drivers that are aimed for people that actually work with their GPUs, people that need to, to do day-to-day uh, -day business with Photoshop, Premiere, uh, 3D CAD, people that even use, for example, the Pro GPUs from AMD. Those drivers are aimed for that. Performance in enterprise software, stability, stability, and stability. Because obviously people working with their GPUs mostly, they can't afford to lose time having driver issues, having black screens, having something like that. Even if they wouldn't have those with the adrenaline drivers, the pro, dri the pro drivers are way more tested, way more revision, so they have less pro drivers than adrenaline drivers, but at the same time the drivers are way more tested, leading to overall much better stability and performance when we're talking about productivity uh, productivity software. Once again, Premiere, CAD, etc, etc, etc. Also in the community tab where I made the post saying that I would remake the Adrenaline vs the Pro Drivers, someone actually asked me if I knew uh, more than they did, because they thought that the Pro Drivers weren't working with the RX 7000 series. And by the time when he made that comment, I I didn't know actually, I also didn't know because I was in the, um, in the process of testing, of finishing the tests of the RX 6950 XT. As soon as you go to the AMD website and you search drivers for the RX 6950 XT, you'll get up uh, with the, the new Adrenaline ones, the 23.11.2, and you'll end up as well with the uh, 22Q2 drivers. But as soon as you install those drivers on the AMD, on the AMD website, they ask you to update to the 23.Q3.1. And as soon as I saw that, I knew almost 100% that they would work on the 7000 series, even more because the, the newest drivers, once again, the 23.Q3.1, they work with, uh, with the Pro series of the RDNA 3 architecture, so they would most likely work with the 7000, with the 7000 series as well. And they did, so yes. They don't appear on the website if you go search drivers for the 7900 XTX or for other 7000 series cards. Those drivers, those Pro drivers won't appear for you uh, on the AMD website. But you can simply search, for example, for uh, AMD Pro 23Q3.1 on Google and it will appear on the AMD website. You just download those drivers and install them and they will work on your 7000 series graphics cards, okay? That's it. And just to conclude this part of the Adrenaline vs Pro Drivers, if you go to the Pro Drivers uh, release notes, for example, you have some things like, let's say, highlights. Improved stability with Adobe Premiere Pro application. Fixed issues. Adobe Premiere Pro crashes when recovering from TDR. So basically the Pro Drivers are all about this kind of software and not games per se, okay? They do get optimizations from Adrenaline drivers, but way, way after the, um, the normal Adrenaline ones, way, way af after, because they're focusing mostly on optimizing for software. Besides from that, all that remains is the optimization and the performance. So let's see the performance. The first game is Assassin's Creed Mirage and it seems that the Pro Drivers still did not receive these game's optimizations that happened in separate Adrenaline Drivers. 
I suspect that the difference might come from, for example, smart access memory not working properly in this game with the Pro drivers, hence the huge performance difference we see here, with the adrenaline drivers being, for example, at 1440p, 47% faster. Difference that gets smaller with the RX 7900 XTX, that is only 33% faster with the adrenaline drivers at 1440p, although the difference is just brutal in this game, and people playing this game should definitely not be using the Pro drivers for any card, otherwise they're just throwing performance away. In Robocop Rock City though, things are different, with the Pro drivers actually performing better in this Unreal Engine 5 title, being slightly higher in the 1% lows, or slightly better in this case mostly, with considerable better 1% lows at 4K, at least with the RX 6950 XT of course. And I thought the results would be different on the RX 7900 XTX, but I was wrong, as in this game, the Pro drivers just seem to work slightly better overall, and when they don't deliver more 1% lows, they deliver higher averages. Interesting. And that also applies to Hogwarts Legacy, and at this point, I'm starting to think that the Pro drivers just work better with Unreal Engine games, and Robocop uses Unreal Engine 5, and Hogwarts Legacy uses Unreal Engine 4. Here the Pro drivers are faster than the Adrenaline ones at 1080p and 1440p, basically where the CPU overhead kicks in, making it seem like they are more efficiently handling high FPS numbers. With the RX 7900 XTX the differences are way smaller though, with the Pro drivers still being faster at 1080p and 1440p, but now only by a little, with 1440p having the biggest difference of 4% on averages and 12% in the 1% lows. As we move from Unreal Engine to RE Engine, things go opposite ways, with the Adrenaline drivers now being the, the ones that are slightly faster, sorry, with the biggest difference being in the 1% lows across all resolution, meaning the Adrenaline drivers offer a smoother gameplay in Resident Evil 4. With the RX 7900 XTX, we're kind of bottlenecked at 1080p, hence why we only have, well, slight variations inside the margin of error, but we do have better results once again for the adrenaline drivers at 1440p and 4K, with the biggest difference being once again in the 1% lows. Almost the same happens with Forza Horizon 5, with the RX 6950 XT offers slightly higher results with the adrenaline drivers, nothing out of this world, but something at least decent at 1080p max settings. This time though, the RX 7900 XTX results are on par with both driver versions, with the differences being almost inside the, the margin of error because of how small they are. I know that's not the case, but what I mean here is that nobody would notice any differences in real gameplay in between these two driver versions. And talking about margin of error, that's what we get with The Last of Us on the RX 6950 XT. At 1080p, adrenaline drivers were better, at 1440p, the Pro ones were better, and at 4K, they were basically equal. Although the RX 7900 XTX seems to be presenting results more or less in line with the RX 6950 XT ones, with the Pro drivers now delivering consistently higher results apart from the lower 1% lows at 1080p. Once again, really odd results here, but I guess it is what it is. Moving to Cyberpunk 2077, we finally start having some normal results, with the adrenaline drivers being slightly faster than the Pro ones, especially in the 1% lows at 1080p and 1440p, being those slightly lower at 4K somehow. With the RX 7900 XTX we do have more stable results, with the adrenaline drivers being considerably superior here, delivering 13% more 1% lows at 1080p and overall higher FPS numbers at 1440p and 4K as well. Hmm. And Ratchet and Clank delivers a huge performance difference, more or less like Assassin's Creed Mirage did. I suspect this has something to do with the game using direct storage, maybe the Pro drivers aren't using direct storage properly, or not using it at all, leading to way lower 1% lows versus the adrenaline drivers. And this is what sometimes makes me think that I don't know shit. <laughs> with the RX 7900 XTX it seems that everything works fine and not only the 1% lows are good with the Pro drivers, as they're also better at 1440p and 4K, which makes no sense. It's insane how different the Pro drivers can be from one generation to another in some games. Odd, but definitely interesting. 
Moving to Alan Wake 2, we can immediately see that the Pro drivers do not feature the optimizations for this game, as the Adrenaline ones are performing considerably well. Even on the older generation RX 6950 XT, that is 12% faster at 1080p, 8% faster at 1440p, and 12% faster at 4K, which is something to be considered. And the difference gets more or less maintained with the RX 7900 XTX, that with the Adrenaline drivers is 14% faster at 1080p, 10% faster at 1440p, and 6% faster at 4K, which once again should be considered as you can get more FPS for free. Now with PUBG, and this game uses, try to find out, Unreal Engine 4. And due to that we see once again the RX 6950 XT performing overall better with the Pro drivers. We do see that the Adrenaline drivers perform better at 1080p, but that's about it. And as soon as we move to the RX 7900 XTX, the results are surprisingly solid, with the Adrenaline drivers still delivering better results at 1080p, but being slower at 1440p by quite a lot, and somehow equal at 4K. It's like I said before, it seems that the more I test, the less I know. <laughs> And it seems like everything uses Unreal Engine nowadays, but well, at least Fortnite is from Epic. And like Robocop, it uses Unreal Engine 5. And exactly like Robocop, we see the RX 6950 XT delivering slightly higher results with the Pro drivers, which I was already expecting. Something that does not change at all as we go to the RX 7900 XTX that keeps the same trend with only lower 1% lows at 1080p. But since the Pro drivers had lower 1% lows, or in this case higher 1% lows at 1440p than 1080p, I assume that it was just a frame spike maybe that was caused, caused for, by some loading or something like that, because otherwise we would still have higher 1% lows with the Pro drivers at 1080p. And finally moving to another non-Unreal Engine game, we have Starfield. It seems that like Assassin's Creed Mirage and Alan Wake 2, the Pro drivers still lack the most recent game optimizations and that makes a considerable difference in this game. I mean, huge difference in my opinion. The RX 6950 XT with the Adrenaline drivers is 25% faster at 1080p, 20% faster at 1440p and 13% faster at 4K. And that's a lot! And still. We have a lot of performance differences with the RX 7900 XTX, that with the Adrenaline drivers is 31% faster at 1080p, 28% faster at 1440p and 22% faster at 4K. Simply massive differences here. If you look at 4K for example, with the Adrenaline drivers we got a bit over the 60 average FPS, while with the Pro ones we get 11 FPS less, being slightly above the 50 average FPS mark making the gameplay much more enjoyable on the Adrenaline drivers. And the final game benchmarked is Counter-Strike 2. With the RX 6950, the Adrenaline drivers proved to be considerably better when running the Source 2 engine, delivering higher averages and 1% lows, especially at 4K where the GPU gets completely loaded. Also, we have higher FPS at 1440p than 1080p because the CPU was the bottleneck at 1080p and it seems that somehow things got better under the high GPU load. It is what it is, I guess. As for the RX 7900 XTX, it actually had higher averages with the Pro drivers at 1080p and 1440p, but that might be due to a small gameplay difference as the 1% lows are much better with the Adrenaline drivers, showing how much smoother they are compared to the Pro ones here. As soon as we go into 4K where the GPU is the bottleneck, the adrenaline drivers are just much superior overall. Hands down. And the final results are for the 13 games averages. With the RX 6950 XT things were overall better with the adrenaline drivers of course, with the bigger differences being in the 1% lows where it matters the most. The closer the 1% lows are to the averages, the smoother the gameplay will be. With the RX 7900 XTX the results were quite close as well, with the averages being basically on par at 1080p and 1440p, being the biggest difference overall at 4K, both in terms of averages and in 1% lows of course. I mean, if we talk about 1% lows at 4K, the Adrenaline drivers beat the Pro ones by almost 15%, which is a lot in my book. Can't lie, we got some very interesting results here compared to the previous videos I made on this topic. Now let's move to the conclusion.
And well, guys, that's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share this video, as that really, and I repeat, really helps a lot. Uh, thank you for watching once again. Leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the Adrenaline and the Pro Drivers. We did have the Pro Drivers performing slightly worse, um, slightly better in some games, slightly better, oddly, oddly, slightly better in Unreal Engine games. So all games using Unreal Engine, the Pro Drivers, uh, were actually faring pretty well. But in some other games where they lack optimization, some other games in some other game engines, like for example Alan Wake 2, uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, and some others, the performance difference was there and it was quite a lot with the adrenaline drivers performing much better. So if you want stability over everything, if you want um, to actually use your GPU for let's say lots of rendering, 3D applications, really, really heavy software on the productivity side, well, then you go to the Pro Drivers. If you want the best performance that you can get usually in terms of overall performance uh, in gaming, then obviously what you want uh, are the Adrenaline Drivers. Once again, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, guys. Cheers. And don't forget, comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about the whole, the whole video. <laughs> See you soon, guys.